majority believe in the, having the people have access to the uh, legislators through committee work and also uh, have the opportunity to uh, do what they want on given bills. The House is a, a remarkable institution, and if you have speakers who are sensitive to the members and really want them to accomplish things that they want to accomplish, I mean, assuming it's not crazy, then you want to have an open system. People come to me from the Democratic Caucus and they say, we'd like to draft a bill in this area. Would you be uh, opposed just because uh, of partisan reasons? And, 99 times out of 100, I say, no, you, you do what you think is appropriate and you'll get hearings. And um, on top of that, obviously, uh, if it comes to rules committee, generally I'll put it on the floor. So it's an open system and that's that should be the way it is. I think we're not getting as many lawyers as we should get. I just had a meeting this morning with the chairman of the education committee now, he was on a board of education, but he also was a very fine lawyer. And uh, it was good to have somebody like that. My, uh, both of my speaker pro tems that I picked are uh, attorneys, and uh, that gives them the ability to go in and help someone who isn't, who's a chairman or, or uh, who has a bill in the committee. Uh, it gives them the ability to go in and work with them, which is, I think, very valuable. One of the things I would like to get done is to stretch term limits farther than they are now. Frankly, we have folks uh, who come here and uh, they're just starting to really get good uh, in a complex area, say uh, state budget, and uh, they go home and they don't have any choice. I think it's important for the bar to continue to do what they've done very well, in my opinion, overall, uh, to protect people who need legal services when you're looking at bills. And, and I think that that's something that, uh, whether it's the Judiciary Committee, uh, whether it's the Insurance Committee, whatever, those committees obviously have an interaction there that, that the bar can be very, very helpful to the public. I don't know what I'm going to do. Every so often somebody will ask me, I have a good friend up in Cleveland who asked me that one day and I said, well, I've got a 182 acre farm. And, and he said, what are you going to do the next day? Because I'm kind of hyper and uh, I, I'm not sure what I'll do. If I can keep my fences up, might even raise some Angus. <laughs>